Are you wondering where to live in Asheville? What parts of Asheville are out there? Where people live in Asheville? Well, this is exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video, so do not go anywhere. Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nesting Dolls Realty at Realty One Group Pivot here in Asheville, North Carolina. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about living in Asheville, breathing in Asheville, playing, working, uh, going to school in Asheville, then you need to hit that subscribe button and hit a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. Guys, thank you so much for reaching out getting those phone calls and texts and emails from people uh, who are thinking about relocating to Asheville is literally my favorite thing. Um, actually, Spice of Life Margaritas at Mountain Madre might be um, at the top of that list as well, but this is a subject for a different video. Anyways, if you are thinking about relocating, if you want to know everything about Asheville, have questions, feel free to reach out to me by text call, email, my information is right there. I got your back here in Asheville, North Carolina. If you ask somebody from Asheville where they live, they might say things like South Asheville or North Asheville or East or West Asheville. And those are basically four main parts uh, if you don't look and consider downtown Asheville, which is right in the middle of the town. So let me go ahead and tell, tell you a little bit more in detail about those four main parts of Asheville. All right, so now if you look west from the middle of downtown and follow Patton Avenue, it's gonna take you directly to West Asheville. And West Asheville has two parts to it. And the one, the West Asheville that everyone refers to, everyone wants to be in, well, not everyone, but a lot of people want to be in, it lies to the left of Patton Avenue. So if you're following from downtown, you need to turn left onto Haywood Road. Haywood Road used to be kind of like a main street of what used to be a downtown of its own, like I think 100 years ago, something like that, back in the day. And now it still has this feel of small town with the main street, with a bunch of stores and restaurants and coffee shops on both sides super walkable, uh, old brick buildings on both sides, um, all the, well, not all, but most of best restaurants in Asheville are located uh, along Haywood Road or in West Asheville, coffee shops, stores, everything local, grocery stores, um, parks, I mean, everything. People who live in the West Asheville, uh, really can just walk anywhere. Uh, libraries, police department, um, churches, schools, daycares, parks, everything. Uh, there's no reason to have a, like to even drive a car there uh, because everything is super close, everything is super walkable. Um, and because of that, because there's a lot of demand to be in West Asheville, real estate prices are higher. So your dollar will not go as far in West Asheville for what you get. But West Asheville has got such a cool vibe um, and truly has the spirit of Asheville itself. Uh, very funky, very vibrant, very artsy, um, just very, um, very cool vibe. Now, if you turn right from Patton Avenue, literally across the street, across four lane highway on the other side of Patton Avenue, it's also West Asheville. But, it not, but it's not the West Asheville that everyone is referring to. The vibe is completely different. It's not as walkable. Um, I mean, they might have some, there might be some walk, uh, sidewalks and walkable places, but you cannot walk from that side of West Asheville to Haywood Road and every, all the amenities that Haywood Road, and that part of West Asheville has. I mean, you probably can, but Patton Avenue is a super busy road that I doubt a lot of people would dare to cross. So real estate prices will be lower because of the accessibility and all the amenities and open proximity to all the amenities and walkability. Still very close to everything, to downtown, to West Asheville, to River Art District, but not as uh, walkable or 
not as close to everything that West Asheville has to offer. I can't say that it's certain demographics who that move to West Asheville, like young families or retirees. It's more of um, the kind of people with the the kind of the same mentality and the same mindset that love West Asheville. People who value community, people who are very open-minded, liberal, tolerant to other people and other views and who um, embrace all things progressive, and, you know, see the value in protecting the environment and being super green and uh, supporting local and things like On that. On the opposite side of West Asheville, we have East Asheville. East Asheville is probably the most chill part of town out of all parts of town. And it's got a great combination of commercial amenities such as restaurants, stores. The Asheville Mall is in East Asheville, uh, TJ Maxx, Target, Lowe's, Bed Bath & Beyond. Just like all, all these major stores are right there. And then the residential part that feels and looks like a countryside. Even though it's not in the country, it's in the city but it you get a lot more for your dollar meaning that you get a lot more property you're not going to be on top of each other it, there's a lot of neighborhoods in east asheville that are kind of spread out very established neighborhoods with established homes older homes renovated homes there is some new construction too but not a whole lot VA hospital is in East Asheville, so if um, you need quick access, that would be uh, very easy. Uh, the access to Blue Ridge Parkway is right there. It's pretty much across the street from um, the VA hospital, so super easy to hop on uh, Blue Ridge Parkway for hiking, biking, or for just a nice ride. Um, right after East Asheville, we have Swananoa and i was talking about it in one of the my videos i'm gonna put a link in the description it's also gonna be somewhere here um and swan and Oba has got a lot of trails around warren wilson college so super easy to uh, kind of connect to nature compared to west asheville east asheville is really not that walkable except for maybe like a neighborhood a particular neighborhood where you live um, but other than that it's you have to have a car you have to drive everywhere you pretty much you can't walk so that would be a downside but it's very chill very calm very beautiful very pastoral um, very beautiful place now from the middle of downtown if you look south on Biltmore Avenue it's gonna take you directly to South Asheville and South Asheville um, kind of also has two parts to it, uh, as soon as you cross those railroad tracks, uh, you get into Biltmore Village. And Biltmore Village is a very historic part of South Asheville and whole Asheville itself. It was built when George Vanderbilt started building Biltmore Estate. You, you can walk there, um, there's some stores there and restaurants, very cute place. And then after that, uh, all more south on if you travel on Henderson Mill Road um, or I-25 you get into South Asheville pretty much everything on the right side in South Asheville will be some kind of Biltmore Biltmore for Biltmore Estate first then Biltmore Forest then Ramble at Biltmore Forest um, then Biltmore Park and just a side note if you hear word Biltmore <laughs> in the name of whatever in Asheville, it means it will usually mean more expensive, luxury, nice, um, upscale. Um, so yes, just kind of keep that in mind. So Biltmore, Biltmore Estate is a huge tourist attraction and a huge attraction to even locals. I mean, we have, um, annual passes and we go there all the time to go on trails to go hiking biking even to go to restaurants go get some wine uh, <laughs> so after that on the right side we have Biltmore forest and that's probably one of also the oldest and very established and the most expensive luxury communities in Asheville not gated but they have their own police that's very bored they 
there's really not a whole lot of going on so if you're gonna go there i recommend um following the speed limit because that police does not have anything else to do then i'm gonna give you a ticket so um, watch your speed limit there <laughs> Biltmore forest has the most magnificent uh, expensive real estate. Only in Biltmore Forest you will find homes like this one that's currently uh, for sale. So if anybody's interested, let me know. <laughs> now, after Biltmore Forest, we have Ramble at Biltmore Forest, and that's a gated community. Also super expensive, very uh, upscale, luxury homes, very nice community with tons and tons of walking trails, paved trails. They have a pool, a gym, just super nice community. Biltmore Park is also on the right side <laughs> of uh, Hendersonville Road. Uh, it's not a gated community, but it's a mixed use community. And I have a video about it and it's gonna be I'm gonna drop a link in the description and also gonna be up here somewhere but literally across the street from Henderson Little Road if you're traveling from downtown you have Biltmore Forest and on the other side you have very poor communities so very high contrast unfortunately uh, not all uh, if you keep moving south there's some um, just mid um, range communities to higher end communities, but still it's completely, it, it's, it's very different from what you see on the right side, for example. South Asheville is known for the worst traffic. Everyone or a lot of people want to be in South Asheville because of a great school district. And that's not my opinion. Check out the link in the description for school ratings. I'm going to drop it down and check it out. So great schools uh, in South Asheville there. Uh, a lot of people want to be there for that. Um, but also South Asheville has a lot of amenities, a lot of shopping, a lot of restaurants. South Asheville will make, if you're coming from out of state, from out of town, if you visit in South Asheville will make you very warm and fuzzy and you will feel like home because you're going to recognize and you're going to see all those places that you see everywhere else. And so people from, like West Asheville don't even like to go to South Asheville because to them it feels very generic, feels very cliche and chain-like. South Asheville doesn't really have that spirit of Asheville that everyone's talking about, funky and eclectic and uh, bright and vibrant and all, all this and that. And last but not least, on the opposite of South Asheville, we have North Asheville. North Asheville is pretty much everything from, if you looking from downtown, everything from Charlotte Street, Merriman Avenue, um, even Monford, as far as Monford and Kimberly Avenue there. So all that is North Asheville. North Asheville has a lot of very old, very established neighborhoods where real estate prices rarely go under 550 price point a lot of historic homes in neighborhoods like Grove Park Inn, Lakeview, Kimberly Heights. There are a few great local restaurants in North Asheville where people who live there love to go. Probably one of the more affordable and less expensive part of North Asheville goes along Merriman Avenue and around UNCA. So UNCA is located off of Merriman Avenue with botanical gardens for anybody to enjoy. Uh, connecting to nature is super easy there. Just go there, park your car and go, go on hike on the trails. But Merriman Avenue itself is super busy, four lane road, uh, stresses me out every time I have to drive there because the traffic is crazy and you always feel like you have to fight to stay in your lane. Um, somebody's always turning somewhere, so it's just crazy. But this, it's, it's busy because a lot of um, neighborhoods are connected through those uh, streets that go turn, you know, connect from, from different sides of Merriman Avenue. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of stores, Trader Joe's, Harry's Theater, um, just a bunch of stuff going on on both sides of Merriman Avenue. That's why it's so busy. 
but then the traffic kind of disappears by the time you get to the end of Merriman Avenue and it kind of feels like a breath of fresh air when you get to Beaver Lake. It's a nice little area where people who live around Beaver Lake can go on a walk, on a jog around it. It's just overall nice, nice area. Pretty much all parts of North Asheville except for you know, Mer along Merriman Avenue and those parts are very walkable. A lot of sidewalks offer for an easy stroll in the evening or jog in the morning. Even Asheville Area Chamber of Commerce holds their annual 5K in Munford. So super fun. A lot of residents just kind of watch as a, a ton of people run their 5K. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> I think that's it. I mean, there's a lot more to each part of town, but just to give you kind of a general idea uh, and some differences about each uh, part of it, um, about each part of Asheville. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach back to me. Num my number it will be right here. Call, text, email me, however you want to get in touch with me. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Reach back to me if you are thinking about relocating to Asheville, North Carolina. See you next time.